Hello and welcome back to the HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast. You know, we're your go-to for staying up to date on HIV. And today, we're taking a deep dive into something uh, really groundbreaking, a potential functional cure for HIV. Yeah, a functional cure. It doesn't mean the virus is completely gone, but it does mean that your immune system is trained to keep HIV under control without needing those daily pills. Oh, wow. So no more daily pills, no more worrying about the side effects or the stigma. Exactly. This is a huge leap forward from where we were just a few years ago. It really is. You see, one of the biggest hurdles with HIV has been something called latency, and that's where the virus hides out, in reservoirs in your body, even with RT, and it can reactivate if treatment is stopped. So even if your viral load is undetectable, HIV is still kind of lurking in the background. So what makes AGT 103 T different? How does it actually work? Well, to understand AGT 103 T, we need to take a step back and look at how HIV attacks the body. HIV targets CD4 T cells, which are like the conductors of your immune system. Right. They orchestrate your body's defense against infection. Exactly. Now, there's a small percentage of people living with HIV called elite controllers, and their immune systems have this incredible ability to naturally suppress the virus. And they do this by deploying these specialized T cells that recognize and attack HIV's core protein. Oh, so they're like the superheroes of the immune system. Precisely. And AGT-103T aims to mimic this superpower. It takes your own CD4 T cells and using gene editing, modifies them to become these elite HIV fighters. Now that sounds like science fiction. Gene editing to fight HIV. We're talking CRISPR. We are, and it's really quite ingenious. They use a harmless lentivirus. Think of it like a Trojan horse to deliver specific genetic instructions into your CD4 cells. This is a two-pronged attack on HIV. Okay, so let's break down those two prongs. The first is to disrupt the genes that produce the CCR5 and CXCR4 receptors. These are like doorways on the surface of CD4 cells that HIV uses to enter. So by shutting down those doorways, you're basically blocking HIV from getting inside the cell in the first place. Exactly. The second modification is even more clever. They insert genes into your CD4 cells that, even if HIV manages to sneak in, prevent it from replicating. It's like booby trapping the cell itself. Yes. And these modified cells, these supercharged T cells, are then multiplied in the lab by the billions and infused back into your body. Now you have a whole army of these specialized cells patrolling, ready to hunt down and destroy HIV. So these modified cells are basically turning you into an elite controller. How long do these modified cells last in the body? Were we talking about a long-term solution? That's one of the most exciting aspects of AGT-103T. Studies have shown that these engineered cells can survive much longer than their unmodified counterparts. They've been observed to thrive for over six months, Mm -hmm. which suggests the possibility of long-lasting immunity. That is promising. You know, for our listeners who are very familiar with HIV, this must sound almost too good to be true. What have the clinical trials shown so far? Well, the initial phase one trials focus primarily on safety, and the results have been incredibly encouraging. Zero severe side effects were reported in any of the participants. That's fantastic news, especially when you're talking about a therapy this revolutionary. You want to make sure it's safe above all else. Absolutely. But they also looked at how well it worked, and the results have been remarkable. After receiving AGT-103T, the viral set point in some patients plunged by a staggering 90%. We're talking levels below 25,000 copies per milliliter. Okay, wait, a 90% reduction? That's unheard of. It sounds like AGT-103T is really living up to the hype. It is, and what's even more impressive is what they observed during analytical treatment interruptions, or ATIs. Right, those are planned breaks from taking regular HIV meds. What happened when they took people off their RT? Well, after the second treatment interruption, patients experienced a 50% reduction in their peak viral loads compared to the first time they stopped RT. It suggests that with repeated interruptions, the immune system is actually learning to control the virus even better. So it's not just a one and done treatment. It's actually training your immune system to take charge. Amazing. Yeah, it's like giving your immune system a crash course in HIV defense. What's fascinating is that researchers also saw an increase in CD8 T cells which are the cells that actually go in and destroy HIV-infected cells. So it's like a multifaceted approach. Mm. Not only are the modified CD4 T cells doing their job, but it's like AGT-103T is waking up other parts of the immune system too. Precisely. It's like a symphony of immune responses, all working together to control the virus. And remember, all of this is happening without the need for those daily antiretroviral drugs. Which, as our listeners know, can sometimes come with side effects yeah, and require strict adherence to be effective. Exactly. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this a cure? And to be clear, AGT-103T is not a sterilizing cure. 
It doesn't aim to wipe out every last trace of HIV from the body. Right, because as we know, HIV is very good at hiding. It is, but the goal of AGT-103T is to achieve what's called a functional cure. This means the immune system can control the virus so effectively that people can live essentially HIV-free lives without needing RT. So no more daily pills, no detectable viral load, yeah. and no risk of transmitting the virus. That's the dream, right? It is, and the early results suggest that AGT-103T could make that dream a reality for many people living with HIV. I'm curious about the science behind all this. What makes the gag-specific T-cell approach so unique? Why target that specific protein? That's a great question. HIV's gag protein is like its Achilles heel. It's a core structural protein that's essential for the virus to replicate and assemble new viral particles. So by targeting gag, you're hitting the virus where it hurts. Exactly. And what's remarkable about these gag-specific T-cells is that they're incredibly potent. They can recognize and destroy HIV-infected cells with amazing precision. So it's like training your immune system to become a sniper, targeting HIV with pinpoint accuracy. That's a great analogy. And in the trials, they observed a 300-fold increase in these gag-specific T cells in patients who received AGT-103T. Wow, a 300-fold increase, that's incredible. It really is, it's essentially transforming these individuals into viral suppressors. And that's why researchers are so excited about the potential of this therapy. It's clear that AGT-103T represents a paradigm shift in HIV treatment but I'm sure there are still hurdles to overcome. What are the next steps in the development of this therapy? Well, the next phase involves larger trials, phase 1B, which are already underway. These trials are designed to further evaluate the therapy's effectiveness and long-term safety in a larger group of people living with HIV. And these trials will provide more data on how to optimize the treatment, hmm. like figuring out the ideal dosage and the timing of those treatment interruptions, right? Precisely. They're also exploring ways to further enhance the immune response. Okay, so gathering more data, refining the protocol, and ultimately what everyone wants to know. When might we realistically see AGT-103T become available to people living with HIV? When can people actually get access to this treatment? It's still too early to give a definitive timeline, but the progress has been remarkable, and the researchers are incredibly optimistic. Of course, even with the most promising scientific breakthrough, we need to consider the practicalities of implementation. Right, things like manufacturing, mm -hmm. distribution, and of course, making sure it's accessible to everyone who needs it. Exactly, and that's where collaboration comes in. We need researchers, policymakers, healthcare providers, and advocates all working together to ensure this therapy reaches its full potential. It's a complex undertaking, huh. but the potential rewards are immense. They are. Think about what this could mean for people living with HIV all over the world. It's almost impossible to grasp the full impact. But it's clear that AGT-103T could be a game changer on a global scale. We've been talking about all the science, but um, zoom out for a second. What could this mean for, you know, people living with HIV on a global scale? Yeah. Imagine a world where a one-time treatment could free individuals from a lifetime of taking medication, from the side effects, the constant fear of viral rebound, and the stigma that still surrounds HIV. Yeah, it's a future where HIV isn't, you yeah. know a life-defining sentence, but a manageable condition. That kind of fades into the background. Exactly. And that future, it has ripple effects. Think about the economic impact. You know, billions are spent annually on HIV treatment and care. If AGT-103T proves to be a long-term solution, those costs could plummet. Especially in resource-limited settings, where access to healthcare is already a challenge. A one-time treatment could be revolutionary. Absolutely. It could free up resources yeah. for other pressing health needs, but it goes beyond just the financial aspect. The social implications are huge. Right. The stigma associated with HIV prevents people from seeking testing and treatment and support. Yeah. A functional cure could dismantle those barriers. Imagine a world where HIV is no longer, you know, shrouded in fear and misunderstanding. It's a powerful vision yeah. of a healthier and more compassionate future. And it highlights how. Scientific advancements can drive social change. Yeah, it's crucial to remember that ADT-103T is just one piece of the puzzle. There's incredible research happening on new antiretroviral drugs, therapeutic vaccines, and other innovative approaches. So it's a multi-pronged attack. Researchers are hitting the virus from all angles. Exactly. And that's what gives me so much hope. You know, we're living in an era of unprecedented progress in HIV research. The yeah. tools and knowledge we're gaining are remarkable. It's awe-inspiring to see how far we've come. We're on the cusp of a major breakthrough. Absolutely. For people living with HIV, their loved ones, researchers, 
and advocates. There's a sense of optimism in the air. And to our listeners, here at the HIV RNA Test Guide Podcast, we encourage you to stay informed and hopeful. New discoveries are happening all the time. Yeah, this is a journey we're on together. With continued research and advocacy and collaboration, I believe we can achieve the dream of ending the HIV epidemic. We couldn't agree more. For more resources and information on HIV testing and treatment and the latest breakthroughs, visit our website. We'll continue to keep you updated on the progress of AGT 103T and other exciting developments in the fight against HIV. Stay informed, stay empowered, and remember, you are not alone in this journey.